Hi, let's take a look at this problem 3.134. A student's course grade is based on one midterm that counts as 5% of his final grade, one class project that counts as 25% of his final grade, a set of homework assignments that count as 50% of his final grade, and a final exam that counts as 20% of his final grade. His midterm score is 85, his project score is 94, his homework score is 91, and his final exam score is 72. What's his overall final score and what letter grade did he earn? That's what we're trying to find. So you'll see here, I took the information given in the problem and I made a table of it with the percent and the score. So midterm, um, the proportion, I wrote it as a proportion instead of a percent, is 0.05 of the grade or 5% of the grade and he got an 85 on it. This project was 25% of his grade so I put 0.25 and he got a 94 on it. Homework was 50% of his grade and he got a 91 for his homework average. Final was 20% of the grade so I wrote 0 0.20 and he got a 72 on his final. Now this is how you would find your score um, in any of your classes if they use percentages. So just like um, we learned in class, you could say that the percentages in this problem would be like the weight and the scores would be the individual X values. So we could use our formula for our weighted average to find out that it would be the sum of W times X in parentheses over our total of the weights. But we'll see here the total of your weights when you add up all these numbers it's going to be one because I changed it to decimal form. So what you can do is take each of these proportions and multiply them by the score and make a call another column just as we did in class. And you'll see that I wrote the numbers that you come up with right here. So 4.25, 23.5, 45.5, and 14.4. When you add those all together, you get 87.65 for your sum of your I wrote P times S. And then you're going to divide it by your P, your proportion. This could also be written as using our general formula at our W times X, where this is our W also. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the number that we have here and divide it by our weights. So we have 87.65 divided by your weight is just one total weight and you get 87.65 now the problem asks you to round to one decimal place so that's 87.7 and that's a b problem can also be done without using a table and you could just simply write well for midterms we have 0 0.05 times 85 plus 0.25 times 94 plus 0 0.50 times 91 plus 0 0.20 times 72. And um, you'll add that up and you'll get 87.65. Technically, we'd be dividing it by one, but we don't have to show division by one because you always get the same thing. And you'll get the same answer this way as 87.65. And you can choose whichever method you want in order to do this problem.